while his actions at a party decades ago still impacting a cannabis advocate who believes the proposed legislation is the first step in righting a wrong. And even as he reveals, revels rather, in the fact that after years of advocating, progress has been made with the pending introduction of a medical cannabis industry, he's offering a word of caution to the public. Cleopatra Murphy has the story. Chairman of the Bahamas Cannabis Research Institute, Terry Miller, knows all too well the hardships and stigma that comes with the conviction for possession of a small amount of marijuana. From incarceration, to limiting job opportunities, to having the ability to travel freely stripped away, and it's one of the reasons he is eagerly anticipating the passage of the Cannabis Bill 2024, hoping it will lead to less detrimental outcomes in the future. Coming from a middle-class family, um, I was able to, after four years, to get my visa, coming from an educated farm um, with connections. There are so many young people who were in the identical situation as I, that never got a visa again, was never able to travel to the United States again. As government gets closer to legalizing cannabis for medicinal and religious use, also decriminalizing amounts under 30 grams, Miller sees the economic benefits of what could be a billion-dollar industry. Advocacy aside, and while Minister of Health and Wellness, the Honorable Dr. Michael Darvel, says an educational campaign will come with the passage of the bill, he believes it should have happened beforehand. Miller is adamant marijuana or cannabis is not a panacea, and it can be dangerous for certain people with a genetic predisposition, even making them psychotic. Smoking marijuana could cause cancer of the lungs, could cause all sorts of other ills, even though it's not as dangerous as other drugs, but you need to notice. If you have certain preconditions like asthma, how this could affect you. This is the knowledge we need to be spreading. Certain age, the age of, of first use, um, the, the brain, especially the brain of a, of, of a young man, doesn't fully develop till he's 24. According to the U.S.-based Centers for Disease Control, smoking cannabis, regardless of how it is smoked, can harm the lungs and cause small blood vessel damage. While the focus is on medicinal use, Miller says at some point officials will have to address recreational use, but he does not support legalization across the board. It should be encouraged as a business, right? Because if you legalize it across the board, <laughs> then it dilutes the whole, you know, if everyone can just go all over the place and it's, it's free to go, and then access by children and all of that. So there's got to be some regulation. But I think adult use should be legalized. Debate on the Cannabis Bill 2024 that began in the House of Assembly Monday resumes on Wednesday when officials hope to pass the legislation. For the Bahamas Tonight, I'm Cleopatra Murphy.